Hi guys! Welcome to Cooking with Love, Chi Chi's Kitchen. I'm so glad you could join me today. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a mushroom sauce and we're going to be eating that with organic sweet potatoes that are purple. Isn't that cool? So these are all my ingredients. You can see my purple organic um, sweet potatoes. You can see my sliced and whole baby bella mushrooms see a bigger bowl with the sliced ones you can see my green onions my sweet bell peppers and my red and green bell peppers those are my plantains see my onions and garlic you can also see my spices here i have salt i have black um pepper i have crushed red pepper I have curry, I have sage, I have um, chipotle roasted garlic, I like the flavor of that. I have parsley, I have some pimento dill smoked sweet paprika, and this is the salt I use. I use iodized sea salt because it supplies iodine, which is a necessary um, nutrient for our health. Um, these are my basils that are already chopped. You can see the color is dark. Nothing is wrong with it. It's just that it was in the fridge. As you can see, I finished chopping all my onions. Um, I usually use a lot of onions when I'm cooking because growing up, my mom always said lots of onions are good for your heart. So that's why I have a lot of onions here. Um, next, I'm going to use my, um, uh, what's it called, garlic that I've already um, taken out the shell. And there's something I like to do. I have the one that crushes it, but I like to do this sometimes where I just place it with my knife and I just crush them, you see? It's pretty easy, be careful. And then I crush it, and I do that to a number of them, and then I gradually chop them down to the size that I want. Another option is to use the, the crusher and just place the garlic in there, and you squeeze it, you see that? And it will just crush the garlic, so you can put like and then you, you get it out with your knife, a spoon, you put it in, so whichever way you choose. Now that my garlic and onions are ready, I have hot oil here heating up and that's for my plantains. Something else I forgot to mention is that I'm using my stainless steel bowls that I purchased recently from um, my local coal store and they are the Food Network brand. I don't know if you can see, it says Food Network. They have their names for my colander. And these bowls all have sizes, um, three quarts, five quarts. I think this is 8.4 quarts. And this little one is um, 1.5 quarts. I really like them. I actually like stainless steel stuff. They're really good. So my onions has gone in. I just have a few more I need to add. So I don't know if you can see that, and um, it will soon start, you know, bubbling up there. And I also have the garlic inside. So my oil should be ready now to put my um, chopped plantains. You see, I have different ways I chop my plantains. Sometimes I chop them long, sometimes I chop them round, and at other times I dice them, depending on what I want to use it for. So my plantains have gone into the frying pan, and I'm going to transfer my sliced baby bella mushrooms into my colander, because I want to use this to put my um, organic purple um, sweet potatoes. I want to season them in this bowl um, before I put them in the oven. I always like to put um, paper towel in my colander or sieve um, to drain the oil from my plantain or anything that I fry. That way your food is not too um, soaked in the oil. These are my uh, mushrooms. Look at the sliced ones. 
the baby Bella uh, mushrooms and look at the whole ones. Aren't they cute? I'm just going to throw them in there, you know, just to have a few whole ones. I'm not going to slice them all. Let's check on my fried plantains and onions to see how well they're doing. So this, I still need to have some brown color with my onions and my fried plantains are almost ready so I'll soon take them out. I'm going to wash these um, sweet potatoes that I sliced and I'm going to use like a paper towel to dab them because I don't want them to be wet so that when I put them in the oven they won't be soggy. I'm also going to sprinkle some salt and a little seasoning on them and then it should be good to go into the oven. I'm going to heat the oven to about 400 degrees Fahrenheit and um, I'm going to put it on and bake or broil. My plantains as you can see are now ready so I'm going to start taking them out of the hot oil. So I just wanted you to see how my onions is turning out. See the color? It's exactly what I want. I'm ready to start adding my um, spices to my onions because I really like the color that I now have. Can you see that? That's so pretty. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of crushed red pepper, half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon full of salt, two teaspoons of curry, half teaspoon of paprika, the smoked paprika, that will give it some color. Half a teaspoon of sage. I like the chipotle roasted garlic. I'm gonna put half a teaspoon full of that. Then I'm gonna put parsley. That one I will just sprinkle some on it. I'm not really gonna measure it. Just a little bit. I mean, it's leaves, it's healthy. Nothing wrong with it. No healthy spices. And I'm going to stir that and reduce my heat. So let me show you what I'm doing. See the color? It's very pretty. See that? My potatoes have dripped, but I'm just gonna place them on the board. My hands are clean, and I'm going to try to dab over them, just to take out the excess water. So now that my um, purple sweet potatoes are ready um, and I have dried off the excess water and I'm going to drizzle some olive oil on there. I bought this. It's also one of the ones I bought from um, my local coal store, the Food Network brand. It's called an oil mister. So this is how it works. I'm going to open the cover. It has another cover. I'm going to pour some of my olive oil into that. It just helps you to regulate how much oil you're putting. So that is filled up. And then I'm going to put it right down. I don't feel too much, okay, it's just perfect. And this is going to go right there. And the whole idea is you pump it in and then you spray on your um, sweet potatoes. So let me try that and see how that works. Yes, now you're getting the effect. You see that? I'm going to sprinkle some salt. And you wanna... Potato is ready to go into the oven. Um, I heated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit on bake. Um, and at some point, I might also have to shift it to broil. Broil just helps your potatoes to be a little bit more crispy. Um, so I'm gonna leave that till I notice it's 
well cooked and to the texture that I wanted, then I'll bring it out. I usually like to cut my peppers into designs. You can see this one. I like the way the shapes are. Look at that. That's so pretty. So I'm going to work on my peppers. Sometimes I chop them very little. Sometimes I just do like a shape. <laughs> Just love to cook. Look at how beautiful these look. Look at that. Look at the colors. They are so pretty and the designs. Look, let me show you. Look. It's like you have glasses, green and red. <laughs> look at how cool those patterns are. See? These are other red ones, like you have goggles. Then look at this design. Look at how beautiful. That's like a flower. Look at this one too. This is just amazing. I love how pretty they are. I'm gonna use them to garnish. I'm gonna put them on the side. I'll show you when I'm done. So my potatoes, I'm going to check on them and make sure they're doing okay. And then I'm going to sprinkle some black pepper, um, crushed black pepper on it and some um, curry, just to give it a little flavor. I initially just put the olive oil and the salt, but I'm gonna add that to it and then push it right back into the oven. It's getting there. And um, my plantains are ready. Um, I'm going to finish up with my sauce, my mushroom sauce, and dinner should be ready soon. So guys, I pulled out my um, purple sweet potatoes from the oven. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more salt. I tasted it still needs a bit of some salt. This is the crushed black pepper. I said I was going to put a little bit of curry just to give it some seasoning or flavor. Season it a little bit. And I'll sprinkle some more. So I had turned off the um, heat from my onion. This is what it looks like. And it's not burnt. It's just um, really brown. So... I'm going to turn it back on. I reduced, I turned it off actually because I didn't want it to, to burn. I'm going to now add on one chicken bouillon, which is like your Maggie, into it. So I'm going to now wait for that to heat up a little bit. And then I'm going to add my mushrooms i still have some vegetables here but you want those to be like the last things because you want your vegetables to be fresh this is what it's looking like while i'm stirring it i'm going to add in that those mushrooms Reduce the heat because you don't want it to overcook there. The mushrooms, they look big, but when you start cooking them, they'll go down. You'll find that that will happen. I'm also going to add some water to that. So I have a full jug of water. I'm going to add all of that. Let's let it cook for a little bit. So my sauce, mushroom. So my mushroom is still cooking. I'm gonna add half of the Maggi crayfish in addition to the chicken bouillon that I put. I'm also going to add my green onions. I always like to leave some that I use to garnish. I'm going to add my red, green, sweet bell peppers, and 
bell peppers. I'm going to leave a little bit. And I'll just stir those in. So that's more than half, like three quarters of the water, because I need that mushroom to cook well. So this is what it looks like. Okay. I also have my basil, which I said was in the fridge. Nothing is wrong with it. I'm going to add that in my hand. We want this really healthy and yummy. We're going to cover that and allow it to simmer. I like that this caraway pots, you see they have an opening here so that the steam can come out. So I really like that. I have some chicken here. Um, you can always add chicken if you want that I bought. Um, these ones I didn't make them. I bought them from Puyo Tropical because they, they grill their chicken really nice. So I want to also add um, some of that to my mushroom sauce. So I'm just going to dice them. Get all that chicken, mushroom, and veggies. Just look at the color. This is so yum. As you can see, guys, my sweet potatoes that were baked, they're already looking nice and ready to be eaten. They came out great and they taste so good too. Guys, food is served. Hey guys, this is what the finished product looks like. These are my peppers for garnishing, my seasoned oven baked sweet potatoes, my mushroom and chicken sauce, my fried plantains, my leftover peppers, bell peppers, green peppers and red peppers. And then you see my caraway set. I use the paracotta ones. I really love them. I use them also for Mother's Day. And you see, when I needed to open up the pots, they have the storage. So I put the covers in the storage, and I even had space for my napkins. How cool is that? You should check them out. Check out their website. Their pots are really cool. So dinner is ready. So guys, before we leave, let's try them out and see how they taste. I'm going to grab my plantains. Um, just a little bit of that. Take some sweet potatoes. And then I'll sprinkle a little bit of this and this you can always eat. Look at that. Look at how beautiful 
cool those colors are. Just look at that. <sighs> Guys, look at this. How cool is that? Now let's take The potatoes with the mushroom. Hmm. Nicely seasoned. That sauce. Mm -mm 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 -mm. This is so good, guys. Chicken. Mm. This is really good. I'm so glad it turned out good. So thanks for stopping by, guys. See you next time in my upcoming videos. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.